Whoa, what's this camera doing hovering in front of my face? I'm Brian with the HVAC School Podcast, and um, this little video is one that one of my managers, Jesse, shot. He uh, hasn't quite learned to use the horizontal view on the camera, which I can't blame him. I've done a lot of videos this way myself. One thing you'll notice here is that this furnace has flexible flue. It's not a dryer vent or anything like that. It's a rated flue assembly. It does look a little weird in Florida. They use a lot of this. But we found this case coil actually installed incorrectly from the very beginning. And so it, it had been that way for years. And now we're in replacing the case coil. And this is a common issue that we find a lot on case coils with how they're originally installed. And Jesse shows how to remedy it. Enjoy. All right, people, I just wanna let you guys know that when you see a coil like this where it's lopsided to the right hand side of the unit, see how you got this edge here? This is an N shaped coil, so it comes here, here, and then here. So what happens on when you install these, you're supposed to actually push them over to the left. That way the drain pan here is on the left side and you get proper airflow through this N coil portion. Now, when you have it like this, a whole third of the coil is getting improper airflow. So you really need to make sure it goes over to the left hand side where the drain pan is hanging over and it'll work much better. So here's the bottom side of the coil. As you can see, before that whole section there isn't getting airflow um, when it's tilted to the right or shifted to the right hand side. So if you switch it to the left hand side, you're just blocking airflow off to this portion and you get plenty of airflow in the center and plenty of airflow through this third of the coil as well. All right, so we got the new coil in. As you can see, the right hand side is nice and flush. And now the overlapping portion is the drain pan. So we have much better airflow, and this is how the, they are designed to go in. I didn't have to add any refrigerant before. It was sitting at about 115 suction with like a six superheat. Uh, now we're sitting at 155 suction with a 15 degree superheat. 20 degree split, system's running good.